it is a general reading. This may or may not present. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be below. All right. Let's see. All right, Libra. <clears throat> your overall energy we have is the Seven of Cups. I'm going to keep it here on the side so you can watch it. Uh, you may be presented with many different ways when you can advance your work, okay? Or there's a lot of uh, uh, whatever you're posting right now, there's a lot of branching, rebranching, you know, going on. <clears throat> so many options. It's a good thing, right? But the, what the important thing out here is to be very careful about how much time you spend in dreaming about something, okay? Instead of taking the real steps to make it happen, okay? This is all wishful thinking, by the way, okay? It's like, oh, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, which again, creates confusion. And that's all because you're not narrowing down your options. We want this, okay? We want to narrow down the triangle. We want that, the inverted triangle. And we want to narrow down the options and think more practically in, instead of just being in our dreams. So yeah, uh, but uh, do remember that you need to take the steps that are very important to make things happen. Yeah, so you need to take those, you need to see that you're willing to take the steps, okay, to, to get into that potential path that you want to. So yeah, you have plenty of ways to make progress in your career or into your business right now, okay, that can really serve you well. But none of this is going to get you what you deserve if you don't choose one path and commit to it. Okay, so either you're very confused right now with what you want to do with your business or career, or there are too many options for you and you're just not being able to stick to one. You need to do that, okay? Whatever you end up deciding is going to serve you well, okay? So act very decisively right now and with a lot of confidence. Uh, in the past, I do see that there was a little bit of uh, instability, okay? You could have lost a job. There was a lot of... Uh, um, there was something that you were unsuccessful about, you could have lost a job or you could have shut down a business also, okay? But that's a lot of unsuccessful work projects or it was, like I said, closing a business, something like that. But this is a lot of instability when it came to work in the past, okay? You probably were tired of your job and that was co affecting the quality of your work, okay? And your motivation was dropping. So, yeah, but this can also be you, your approach towards the business or career or the job that you're at, right? That's a very negative uh, approach. It's someone who's very ruthless, okay? And uh, someone who's uh, trying to undermine other people, someone selfish, greedy, manipulative, all right? So it could be a boss that you were dealing with, a colleague, or this could just be you, okay? Where you were probably not being able to consider, uh, concentrate on your own career, okay? So yeah, that, uh, you could even be, have been wanting a job, a promotion, okay? But if you did want that, maybe there was some more experience that you needed, okay? And probably that's one of the reasons why you didn't get it. <clears throat> right now, you probably want a lot of success, achievement. You want to be self-sufficient. You want that material and security. But we have this in the reverse right now. So what I am feeling is that if you've dealt with any failures lately, which, which tells me, it's because you haven't put in too much work, okay? You haven't put in too much effort. This is you desperately desiring the success, but you're not probably ready to actually work for it. Okay. Or the other thing could be that you've worked so hard for everything, right? That everything else has fallen on the side. Okay. So yeah, either this is you overdoing your work, you know, trying to, uh, trying so hard to make the ends meet, overworking yourself. Okay. Or this is you who's not putting the effort. I have a feeling you're not putting in the effort. Okay. So yeah. And your biggest challenge out here is, the page of cups in reverse. This is telling me that there is something that you dream of, like I said, right? Seven of cups. These are both wishful cards, right? We do usually don't put in emotions in a business reading, right? A business is more about tangibility, logic, using your head, etc. Your biggest challenge out here is that you want something, but I have a feeling that you're not working for it. It's the same thing. You probably have issues dealing with your feelings at work, you know, and uh, you've been a little unprofessional and you're letting your emotions get the best of you. So when you are in a new situation, okay, you may be faced with some feelings that you don't know how to channel into something positive, okay? So if your line of work is a more creative field, okay, this suggests that you had a hard time dealing with creative blocks, it'll pass away, okay? But remember to know why you're working towards something, okay? Remember to know why you're in love with this work or why you chose this career. Try to find inspiration. You're not feeling inspired right now, okay? <clears throat> Again, emotional vulnerability at work, 
again insecurity at work okay but you're not being able to find a creative way a, a creative outlet for your work okay you're just daydreaming about your career path but when it comes to putting that action nada and that's one of the reasons why i'm saying that you're not being able to put in the effort okay on your mind there is something that you want to take a risk with okay this is wanting a new uh wanting a new adventure a new job new business something that gives you that breath of fresh air at work so yeah new beginnings you want this new beginning okay it is on your conscious mind so yeah if you've been starting to look for a new career a change of job or whatever right this is a welcoming card okay but this is still on your mind this is not a part of your past present or future this is what you want okay what you are consciously working towards even if there are no drastic changes you know uh it's still you 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 may not want something very drastically changed but you would still want something um very new you know that something filled with new energy that new innovative ideas but there's something that you want you know it will happen only if you take the risk this is the card of a risk taker okay so yeah just be aware of the opportunities that are there for you but you will need the courage to take them when they appear okay seven of cups a lot of opportunities for you but if you're going to stay in this energy of which one which one which one it's probably going to become a missed opportunity there are too many options for you you just need to take that leap of faith okay and you just need to go ahead and take that risk <clears throat> see this is what your biggest biggest just yours okay this is the five of swords which is your um, subconscious mind which is the reason for the reading the root of the issue probably there are conflicts erupting at work and there's this a lot of considerable amount of hostility in the air okay very unfriendliness people try to cut each other's throat a lot of competitive uh, it's not competitive in a good way okay it's just getting nasty probably uh, arguments it's very easy right now <coughs> for arguments to explode again this can come from misunderstandings lack of communication or poor leadership okay probably there's someone here who's uh, you know probably even bullying you or intimidating you so whether this is you or another person you're going to be called upon to stand up for yourself or someone else it's going to be very easy for you uh, uh, to fight back but just see to it that you handle the matter more professionally and don't be afraid to pull in the hr okay so yeah processes are usually in place to handle very severe situations like that okay so this is also the card of someone who feels like a self victim okay like someone who's you know um um meaning that your impression of the situation is probably what is causing these conflicts in the first place okay it's like that defensive behavior that creates that cycle of aggression okay which means that probably the situation is not as bad as you think it is but it's your view point it's the way you think it's your illusions it's your experiences it's your uh, uh, like they say right the way you're looking at the situation which makes you feel that you feel the need to stand up for yourself okay or you need to guard yourself okay or you need to be in that aggressive mode but maybe that's not what really is required here yeah so like i said defensive behavior usually creates a cycle of aggression so be very very super crystal clear about your own actions okay and how they affect the environment get clarity about what you need to do because this is also lack of communication okay and misunderstandings so that's something you need to know if there is literally a mis- misunderstanding is it really there or is it just you which is it's all going on in your head okay seven of cups can also mean confusion it can also mean illusions okay something that really does not have to do with the 3d world <clears throat> and then near future here i really like this card for you okay so there is going to be luck in your career okay you're going to have a lot of the opportunities that are going to be presented to you provided you're going to be very very adaptive to those changes to them to those work okay there are big changes okay that may be coming to your career or your business if you may considering to make a switch in your business career path or your position right it's going to be a good time in the near future uh, just try and be more aware of the opportunities that are in your environment okay and just say yes when they arise I think this is all what it's saying, right? Say yes with a fool here, seven of cups, you know, like choose. Until you don't make a decision, it's not going to come into you. I'm guessing you will. I'm guessing you will take that opportunity, okay? You're going to take that leap of faith. It's just that with the five of swords, you feel the need to stand up for yourself or because the environment's a little hostile. Could be in a new position that you want to step up for, okay? But you do feel that you're not being very supported and you feel the need to be very defensive right now. But again, 
there are more uh, more opportunities that are going to come to you in the near future okay so these changes that are coming your way right they may be a little difficult and a little challenging okay but this is also blessings in disguise this is blessings for you to develop your skills and get ready for the future growth so when this comes in if you're ready to embrace these changes and you're making yourself more adaptable it's going to be luck in your favor okay the universe is going to be on your side so just go alongside with the flow of these changes and it's going to bring you a lot of success a lot what you're doing right now how you see yourself is the knight of pentacles in reverse okay okay this is similar to um the card out here either you're overdoing it okay and you're reaching that point of burnout or you're not doing anything at all you're just lacking that focus that drive etc okay you're not working hard for what you want you have very little ambition or too much ambition okay either this is someone who's a workaholic okay whatever but you're going somewhere crazy and getting nowhere okay so yeah that's what i'm saying so have that balance here it could also mean this also means that probably you're not working on your goals right now but you're probably doing a lot of inner work okay you're wanting something new but this is something that people are not being able to see okay maybe you're not very focused in your career or your goals there's something new that you want to start i can see that right and that's one of the reasons why you're so confused here but your focus is not your work like wherever you're working right now right your current career or job or business i think you're more focused inside you know it's a more private affection it's a more private energy where you're trying to work on your own self you know that it's more like setting your own discipline setting your own career okay setting making some goals and motives which are very very silent okay you're trying to keep very quiet about it i don't think everyone knows or probably people even around you want to know uh, know that you're trying to make another choice or wanting to do something different because <clears throat> in your emotions you're enthusiastic and very very you got that creative spark that in energy inspiration to want to get something new to want to do something new okay this is that you want that high growth in your career okay it's that moment uh, in which you're trying to prepare yourself for meeting new opportunities okay so i'm getting here that you're wanting to do something brand new right now okay and uh, but you're keeping very quiet about your moves okay you're wanting to confront any issues that have hindered your progress in the past okay and uh, your creativity and problem solving skills are at the highest right now in your emotions okay so yeah you're ready to use this energy to the best of your abilities it's just that i don't feel that you're using this within the current uh, work or business or workplace that you're doing i think you're working on your own goals you know you understand what i'm saying see in your environment we have the four of pentacles in reverse here so i feel you're letting go of something there's something that you're letting go okay um <clears throat> you're probably even making a risky work decision is what i'd say see that's exactly what i'm telling you right there's something that you're uh, you know wishy washy about there's something that you're doing which is a very quiet move okay you're keeping things to yourself so this in your environment this is a little tricky okay it's a little tricky so yeah um I'm getting that you're readily available to help others, okay? And yeah, you do give credit to others when it's due. But again, what I'm getting more is that you're trying to make some risky decisions, and things there could be some <clears throat> consequences, okay, to this careless move. So avoid trying to do the most flashiest projects, okay, or shoot for the most ambitious and irrational goal right now. I think that's what you're doing right now. because it can lead you to trouble rather than help you in the past okay so yeah in your environment you need to be very very careful about the risky moves that you're making okay regardless i like the outcome here so yeah with the wheel of fortune in the near future and your likely outcome to whatever your condition is right you do have the nine of cups this is emotional fulfillment this is you being very very happy okay something that you wish for is coming true you're going to have a very satisfying career you're going to have a lot of recognition and respect at work okay but yeah just see to it that this recognition and work it does not drive you to be overconfident okay so yeah this is signaling me that you uh, might get a lot of respect and recognition in your field okay whatever projects you've started they're going to be very easy to finish and the skills that you demonstrate um you know in completing them you know it's going to be like people are going to praise you a lot if you're looking to advance in your career or your business okay it's going to be an excellent time as the outcome here okay probably a time for a good raise or a promotion you know people are going to be more receptive to you you know to any kind of requests than in the past okay right now 
it's a good time if you're asking for a raise or promotion. Take advantage of the moment, but one thing with the Nine of Cups is that just see to it that you don't become a little smug, you know, which is overconfidence is not a good idea. Don't be shy, okay? But you have worked for this recognition, okay? But just don't be overconfident, okay? That's what I'm saying. But yeah, it looks pretty good, whatever you're trying to pursue, right? It's just that the current situation looks a little tough here right now. Maybe you're overworking things, okay? Or maybe you're doubting your intuition. But I think it's going to be okay. I think the Five of Swords is a little messy here. Why the Five of Swords? Tell me why the Five of Swords here. Why is this on you? Why is the Five of Swords here? King of Cups. You're trying to make a very wise decision. Maybe you're messing with a boss figure here. The King of Cups is someone you know who is very emotional. Yeah. I just feel you're just trying to be more careful here. Okay, like we said, right, that there could be a condition where you feel that you feel the need to be very defensive, you feel the need to be very wise. But yeah, you're trying to balance your emotional and practical and logical needs. Okay, and you have a lot of wisdom, which is leading to a lot of respect and admiration. But the reason why you feel the need to stand up for yourself, probably because of past experiences or because you just want to be super duper careful about making your next move. Yeah. I don't think there's anyone in your environment who's probably trying to um, get to you. <coughs> it's just your probably your defense mechanism, okay? Where you feel the need to take care of yourself and uh, not to rush into things or just to be that, you know, like careful. You know how you like to set those boundaries. I hope people try to send the set boundaries so that, you know, they're not crossover over and they're not taken for granted, something like that. Yeah, but again, there's something that you're making a little risky move with. Be very, very careful about that. But regardless, you do have a wish coming true. And with the Seven of Cups here, you need to make a right choice, okay? You have too many options here, which is leading to confusion and lack of action. Make that choice. Take that risk, okay? The future looks pretty good for you. All right, Libra, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.